Hello and welcome to our podcast, Magical Holistic Healing Arts. I'm Lynn Hicks. I'm Erica Hicks. And we interview different practitioners of many modalities to learn ways to take care of our sacred body for better health and beauty. Have you ever heard of Kang and Water? We are proud distributors of this magic elixir to our lives. Did you know that these antioxidants are responsible for stopping and reversing the damaging cycle of oxidation on a cellular level? If you have any other questions or want to get your own machine, check down below for the links. Today we have Jim McCarty, who is a um, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame uh, with the Yardbirds, the music of the 60s that I grew up and has played with many musicians. Uh, he's a songwriter and he has many magical arts. So I'm going to ask him directly, Jim, what is your magical art? Magical art is being able to, to you know, to play very rhythmic music, um, but also to write uh, hopefully very rhythmic music too. And I, I have music going on the whole time in, in my brain, you know, and concepts, um, lyrical concepts as well. So I'd say I'm quite two-sided because I'm a, I'm a rock and roll drummer, but, but also I'm a, I'm a sort of quite a lyrical songwriter and singer. I like to sing too. Um, and that, that, that's sort of more, much more of a gentle side. So I've got the two sides going on, <laughs> uh, which is a bit odd in some ways, but um, it sort of goes back to, to the end of the year, but in, in 1968, when um, Keith Relf, the singer, and, and myself formed a band called Renaissance, um, which, which was a totally different sound. It was based around the keyboards, um, piano and we brought in a lot of classical piano uh, and the music was quite lyrical and folky and uh, um, sort of very melodic and you know harmonies and all that stuff and and that sort of really keeps going with me that sort of um, harmony piano based music um, very lyrical telling it telling a story and you know quite inspirational um that goes along with me a lot with with the music i write and the, the, and the stuff i play the drum drumming wise is, is real rock and roll you know the usual uh, uh rock stuff from the from the 60s that people love to hear and uh you know we have, we have a very good band now and it, it's good fun and um it's also not so tiring because i don't i, I don't have to work like I did in the 60s I don't have to travel around just a couple of uh, you know quite comfortable tours two or three tours a year maybe and uh, you know someone sets the drums up and someone takes me to the hotel I, I don't have to do anything I'm really spoiled um, and it and it's really you know it's, it, it's good it's still good fun and people say, oh, you know, what's it like still playing those old Yardbird songs? Um, and uh, as long as, you, you know, you don't overdo it, I'm, I'm still enjoying it. it they're, they're, they're great songs. It, it's a great repertoire and they, they, they still live on. And uh, people love to hear them. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, as I said, I like to keep going with the, with the music. Um, that I write, and that's sort of based on really a lot of it is based on nature. Mm. And um, you know, the latest album was called Walking in the Wild Band, and uh, where I live down here in, in France is, is very beautiful, it's very inspiring landscape. And I love to, I love to walk out in, into the nature, and uh, you know, I get, I get messages really from. From, from nature and uh, it transformed into the music so um, you know I think it, uh, people that hear it get something out of it related to you know the, the, the deeper nature of the world. I love that you have um, both sides of your art because 
you know, we aren't just like one thing. And, you know, as we grow and move and change and experience life, um, you know, I think a lot of us have like a wild drummer yard board (laughs) side that um, has that real passion and hard fun of the 60s. And then um, that you go to the other side and express yourself as well in in um very nurturing and like expanding nature yeah a different side and it's it's interesting to hear that you have um you know it's always running in your mind lyrics <laughs> but there's, there's there's always some theme going in my mind some some tune going on <clears throat> and i think what i love about that there is a magical thing about writing um songs and music you know to get that that tune going with the right chord progression which which is sort of the is magical and it can it can turn you know it can sound so different with it with the right chord progression and or, or, or you know it can sound boring with the wrong one and sound really interesting it, it's fascinating to me yeah i i imagine that um you know, it's it's probably a very cool experience to hear sound. You know, sound is so healing. Obviously, you've done it for entertainment and you do it for balance now with your more melodic. But And we all love music, but I don't know if we always realize how incredible sound mm. heals or soothes or um, offers us that healing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I I got involved. I, I did get involved at one time with with um, you know what that what they called new age music, uh, but it was quite different, and it, it, it was it was music that um, could would be very relaxed. It's sort of music that you um, you know when you have a massage. <laughs> I got involved with that sort of thing that really took you into a took you into a place. Uh, and I've always loved that, you know, m- music that takes you somewhere and uh, um, m- makes you relax or, or takes you into an inspirational place somewhere deep inside, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, it sounds like um, I know in listening to your music that that's really what your nature music does. Yes, yes, definitely, yeah. So rock music is all about, you know, excitement and like you say passion and uh, uh, you know work, working yourself up to a to a certain level of, of excitement and, and and getting the blood going <laughs> yeah and that's so healing as well because we you know we'd be bored if we all were just you know relaxing all the time i mean there's there's time for everything in life did just walking in nature inspire you to kind of shift your way or did something happen in your life that made you kind of switch your genre in a way? <laughs> yeah, I've been, I, I've been through quite, I've been through quite a life. Um, in the old days, we, we used to experiment with drugs a bit and uh, that, that didn't really do me any good. Um, I, I took a few sort of acid trips and I, I messed myself up, went into like a, a weird depressive thing for a while and it, and it wasn't very good um but i i, I remember the I, I remember i used to go and see this doctor and he was he was quite de- a quite deep doctor and he said to me oh you, you know you, you you're going through it you're very depressed but one day you'll feel the benefit of this um and I thought, what's he talking about? What benefit is there in this, you know? Uh, but I know what he meant. It's sort of, you, you go through a deep, go through a deep hole and you come out the other end. Um, and it's quite inspiring. It's quite healing, isn't it? And you, you, it's a sort of depth. Um, it's a depth to your life or depth to your nature that, um, you know, that, that you'd rather not have done without, even though it was quite hard, you know. <laughs> well, you, you know what I mean, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> so many of us, um, you know, we find our greatest awakening or healing mm-hmm. or 
you know, courage or I don't even know our being through these dark situations, yet we try to avoid them. But then yeah. it's kind of funny. Yes. Well, I, I'm, I'm going through that right now, funnily enough, you know, with my wife. And it, mm -hmm. it's really, it's really horrible. And I think, well, what's the point of this? You know, what, what good is there in this? But I guess, you know, you do get a lot of strength out of it, don't you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it really strengthens you to go through something like that. Well, it's so wonderful that you have music to kind of help you through these different things too, that you can release, oh, I guess. Yeah. And I had some, I had some counseling the other day. Um, I, I was talking about how, you know, how do I get through this? And they said, oh, you, you play the drums. Why don't you just go and bang on a tree? <laughs> go, you know, make a few rhythms outside and go into nature and, bang on a tree you know uh which was very simple i thought oh yeah, well, that's a good idea why not well i you know i find music so healing um and listening you know obviously we all go to performances mm -hmm. you know for the fun and excitement and then you know you just sit outside and there's really music just to the sounds yes. The live performance is something else altogether, isn't it? Live performance is like a spontaneous reaction going on between the audience and the, and the, and the band. Mm -hmm. um, but, the, you know, that, that's, that's a magical thing, I find. Um, and you, you can tell, you know, when we, when we play a tour, I, I can feel that the audience, by the time it's finished, you know, there's a certain... There's a certain energy that the audience have got um, that they're very happy with. Um, you can tell at the end of the night. You know, you start the night and everyone's thinking, "Oh, what you know, what's this going to be like?" Or, or we don't quite know what to expect. Uh, and then at the end of the night, it's totally different. They're, they're all very satisfied. Did you have tours planned during this time? Like, is it? You know, you're not experiencing that right now. Is that different or are you missing it? Yeah, I'll get some of it on the next tour, you know. Um, but, but, yeah, there is, there is a, a certain energy about it that you, you can miss it. And, and also, you, you know, if, if you are drumming, like, like my, in my counselling, you know, you're expressing yourself, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You know, to express yourself in that way, it's very energizing and, and we're very healing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just went to a virtual music festival this past weekend where we just had the uh, musicians play in front of us on our TV. So we we're just sitting on our couch and we had this free festival that was raising money <laughs> for F Feeding America. Okay. Yeah, it was really interesting and it was a different vibe and I was just thinking of the artists because they're literally playing to no one. They're playing to nobody and they have to be all energized. Yeah. Quite difficult. That's like going into the recording studio, you know, it's just, when you're not playing to anybody, you're just playing, to, playing onto tape. It's a bit similar, isn't it? Yeah, I would assume, I would assume so. So it was really interesting to see um, them still express themselves with so much energy and it was really cool to see them at their houses with their dogs coming in the picture and their, <laughs> and their kids like they're at home just like where everyone else is at home so it was really it was fun <laughs> i think there's a certain positive thing to, to some positive things going on with this uh lockdown isn't there mm -hmm. <clears throat> you know that I, I know the pollution is much better and the, and there will be um the birds and the animals around here are quite happy because there's no, you know, it's quiet. There's no hunting or anything like that. And um, they're, they're all happy and you can hear them chirping all the time, all day. Um, and then, you know, we, we because we're, we're, we're inside, I think we tend to go inward, yeah? So, we, you know, we're, we're, we're thinking a lot inside and we're reflecting a lot and things like that which is probably very good for some people isn't it? 
I know I have found it very interesting for myself. Like uh, my body appreciates it, but my mind and emotions kind of want to like be doing, <laughs> be accomplishing, um, you know, the old scale of how I viewed productivity has really shifted. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's interesting, isn't it? And, uh, you, you know, you uh, would, um, you know, I suppose naturally you'd, you'd make goals for yourself, wouldn't you? Uh, you couldn't really do now. You couldn't accomplish them because, uh, you know, you haven't got that freedom. So it's quite different, isn't it, for some people? It, it, it's sort of easy for me because I'm used to this sort of quiet life. So. And I'm not a great extrovert, so it's easier for me than someone that would, would would go out to work and you know have a busy life. I guess it must be strange. Mm. It's healing, though. Um, is, do you, have you found any inspiration <clears throat> from the situation musically, or? Um, well, it's been difficult to say, but. Uh, it's difficult to say because of my position at the moment, but um, yeah, there's a certain quietness about things, and um, there's a certain depth, and there's also, you know, these things are all um, that they're all teaching us something, aren't they? You know, this is a very unusual thing, and then I suppose we have to think, oh, what's this? What's this teaching us? You know, what are we learning here? Um, that, that there's something going on that's quite deep. Um, you know, rather than just other people getting ill, that there's something else going on underneath it all. And, uh, you know, it's good to reflect on all that stuff. Yes, I agree. I think it's definitely a collective break, a collective time for us to, yeah, go inward and to feel kind of like our soul again, ourselves again, because we've just gotten so distracted with life that we've truly kind yeah. of forgot that. And so we can tune into ourselves, you know. <laughs> and also it's nice to see, like you say, those some of those creative things going on, people playing in their bedrooms and, <laughs> and music like, like this, you know, using the, this uh, outlet, which is very good, isn't it? So, you know, I can talk to you without catching anything <laughs> well and the time space continuum really has kind of shifted because you're in france at night yeah and we're in colorado in the morning um and, yeah. and yet it's like we're in a now moment where we we're just <laughs> experiencing each other yeah i know it's amazing isn't it uh, <laughs> Yeah, that, 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 that's always amazing um, to, to be, you know, to be uh, in the now moment, but in hugely different time zones. Well, I think it's, you know, you're well honored for the amount of entertainment and creativity that you've offered the world and expression. And although you might be an introvert, you've obviously uh rippled yeah made an imprint on the world <laughs> yeah i suppose yeah i suppose so L lots of people do say that um <laughs> uh, and it, it, it i don't know it, the, the more time goes on the more it becomes um more sort of legendary and more more important somehow but you know people say oh it's a bit like a sort of fine wine that gets better and better you know um uh, it's interesting. It, it becomes uh, has, has greater weight as time goes on, and that, those songs they seem to um, they seem to get stronger also as time goes on. You know those sixties songs, um, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess not. Not not every not everyone's like that you know some things just fade away or some don't don't hold up but um the, the, the ones i was involved with seem to hold up pretty well now do you have any insight as to why that would be of having experienced and expressed and been part of that 
you know, like my daughter is unaware of that time zone and it was a little before me. Um, I was very young, but you know, it really does have a huge impact. Yeah, I guess it was a, a magical time. It was a, a time of great change, wasn't it? You know, it was it was uh, exciting and uh, lots lots of things turned head over heels, didn't they? And then it and then it all went back to as it was, <laughs> sort of thing. It really did. It really did have a big change, and I guess lots of people see it, come and see us, and then say. Oh, I, I I remember where I was where I was when I first heard that song, and I remember what I was doing, and I was so happy. Mm. You know, there was so much change going on, and it was such a happy time. Um, and I love it. You know, we we do this cruise called the Flower Power Cruise, and the people all dress up, and it's just like you you just going back to nineteen sixty four or five. You know, um, and they love it. They're just they're just reliving it all and so happy doing it. And there's such a great, <laughs> such a great energy. It's, a, it's such good fun. Well, it's so cool to like, yeah, the connection that like all my friends right now, where our biggest connection is through music. And it is so fun when you can have that group of people or meet people that are on that same vibration, that same, you know, understanding of music as yourself. I think that's really awesome way to connect to people yes yeah yeah our, our music fantastic isn't it it's a great connection yeah it really is uh, well and i think it's way larger than we know i mean yeah. we make it like oh you turn on the radio or you like this or that but like it's so present in our life i mean that's why it's a magical holistic healing art <laughs> you know it's you know, people listen to sound healing or you go do the shaman or whatever, but there's a whole nother, probably nine-tenths of it is nothing like that. It's just um, a journey in vibration and it's extremely healing and we all use it every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's there all the time, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Um, and it can take you back, and it take it can take you forward, take you anywhere, can't it? Um, um, I remember we did one of our one of our hits uh, was a thing called "Still I'm Sad," um, which we did about 1965, 1966, and um, people used to write to us and say, oh, oh, "When I hear that music, it 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 makes me I, I, I've." I, I go away in my mind. I'm sort of in the, in a churchyard or somewhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, they take me away into some uh, beautiful, quiet churchyard somewhere in the countryside. And it was it was very interesting at the time. You know, some of the some of the reactions that we that we had. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's so transporting. You know, yeah. like you're driving around and. A happy song makes you happy. A sad song makes you cry. Like, it's far more powerful than I think we give it credit to really support us in our daily lives. Yeah, it is. It is, it, 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 it is very interesting. Um, and, I, and I suppose, um, like I said before, it, interesting what, what music lasts and what doesn't. You know, some, some music you don't hear at all anymore. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know why that is. This this is the this is the magical um, question. What why does some music keep going and sound more and more uh, alive? Yeah, that's a I'm good. I'm not question. sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good one. That's to ponder, a good ponder. Con yeah, contemplate about. <laughs> huh. Well, Jim, do you have any last <laughs> words to say to our listeners for this episode? Uh, no, but I mean, you know, it's lovely to be uh, lovely to be invited, and um, it's not it's nice to talk, you know, with like-minded souls or like-minded people, um, and uh, and go into the depths of things, you know, rather than just talking about the facts. It, it, it's a deep, deep conversation, uh, and uh, it's something I always like to do, you know. Mm. And uh, very, had me on. Thank you. 
I'm sorry I missed out on all the other ones. <laughs> no, but you know what? I think it's really nice the way you ended with that because I think that's what music mm. does. Yeah. yeah, great. Like it, you don't know why or how, but it takes you into the depths. The depths. And then the heights. Like, and there really is no logic or reasoning or sometimes the words are quite silly. I can't work it out why. There's no reason why. No, it's beyond us. There's many things beyond us, aren't there? <laughs> <laughs> well, we thank you, such a uh, renowned musician. Yes. Um, and you've seen the world in many ways. And we thank you for just taking the time to share some mm -hmm. of your insights and thank you. uh, thoughts about the music in your head. Okay. <laughs> oh, pleasure. Very nice. Thank you for having me on. Well, that was a real rock and roll icon <laughs> that we just got to chatter with. Yes, and he's still playing those songs after so long, the 60s. He's still on tour and still sharing his music. It's so cool to be able to talk to him today. Yeah, and it was um it was really kind of quite a, you know, a deep conversation when you think of, you know, I think we all forget the power of music. Mm -hmm. and just how much of a elixir it really is in our lives. I mean, you talking about, you know, going and watching your... Music festival online, yeah, and how it's different and, yeah, changing. And and many concerts have been, you know, dropped out during mm -hmm. the social distancing, and, and yet you guys are still finding ways to enjoy, you know, hearing your favorite artists. Yeah, and... Um, cause music really does, it brings us together. It, it allows us to find people that are like with us because since it is a vibration, we're attracted to that vibration. We're attracted to that type of music, which then brings us to a tribe that also is that same frequency. So it's, it, music is so powerful. It really is. And I think, you know, it was really kind of fascinating how he had the different types of music. Yeah. He is. He's got rock and roll and then some spa music, which is really <laughs> interesting. And we've listened to some of it, and it is really peaceful and just takes you into that relaxation state. Yeah, and I think it's kind of cool to embrace that we have all these sides of ourselves mm. and that we can express it in many different ways. It's not like we're just one thing mm -hmm. um, or we ride at one, one piece, you know, that we are always experiencing and experimenting our, with ourselves about really who we are and, and what we like and you know what what works at what hour and what works at another hour and really the the healing of all that and the the depth of that and why that music is still around for such a long time when so many other people just do one song wonders it's true yeah something to contemplate there listeners <laughs> Yeah, and we're really thankful. We um, ask for prayers yes, for his wife as she goes through her healing. And um, we're really thankful that Jim took the time to really share with us. Hang out with us. And um, offer such great, um, I, I thought it was a very deep, interesting perspective on music that really kind of expanded me. You know, I'm still a little bit like, wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So if you like what you heard today, share it, like it, comment, leave us a review, share it with your friends and family, especially if they've heard of the Yardbirds. And if you want to get in contact with Jim or get any information, that is down below. I know there's no concerts right now, but I'm sure there are ways to connect. So thank you again so much for listening and for being with us and taking your time to listen and to spend your time with us. We really appreciate that. And we are just sending you all love, light, and have a great, wonderful day. <laughs>